low out there, is it? At the moment, yes. Can you see the wind at the flag? flag? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, huh? It could be. I'm going for it being fairly heavy wind. Yeah, the wind at the silos is um, 10 to 15. You ready? Yeah. Do not see. Bring my scope back a little bit. Right, a good height, three o'clock, three targets right. Okay, so we'll shoot too far over to the left. Okay. That's rare. <laughs> okay. Level with bottom into plate, one and a half targets right. Tall. Level with the left edge of plate, half target tall. Went to the left side. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> well, we won't adjust anything, we'll see what we get out of that. Okay. Oh, just off right edge of plate, dust, three o'clock. So that's the level of variance in the wind. Yeah, definitely. Oh, dust directly behind plate. That's just going over top, 12 o'clock. Oh, just off left edge, 10 o'clock off the left edge of plate. Just directly behind the plate. I couldn't say whether left or right. Hit! Beautiful! Center target! Got him! <laughs> it's on there. Yeah, pretty dead smack. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Got it on there. Oh, got it. Yep. <laughs> oh, let's run a few more sounds so we can get a. Okay. Look, yeah, see what we got. That, that was actually sort of really holding in there. Oh, 
just off bottom of the plate, quarter of a target low, 7 o'clock. Oh, just underneath. Tiny bit of dust, just at the bottom edge of the plate, 7 o'clock. Tall dust just over the top edge of the plate, 12 o'clock. Uh, I held it for a little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> Hit, top left corner. Got him. Well, that's a back up. Yes. <laughs> That'll probably do, eh? That'll do. <laughs> Okay, today we're out with um, this 7mm rem mag. Um, as last week we actually just got some of the um, 195 grain uh, extreme out limits or EOL um, <coughs> burger bullets for the 7mm. Found that the, um, it really brought up the efficiency of the long range side of it to up comparable, maybe even a tiny bit in front of the 300 wind mag with the 230 grain burger. Um, lots of different bullets, but the burgers what I tend to use. I like, I like the way they work. Um, and so essentially I loaded up some of those last week. We um, tested them. Um, they work nicely. So we actually have this little strip here. A little while ago we did 3,000 yards with the 300 wind mag. Very similar sort of shot. Wind was pretty high today, but we thought we'd give it a shot. Um, and the, it all worked really well. Um, we're actually on there. We've hit it twice that we can see we might have actually nicked it and hit it three times uh, but working really nicely. This is an APRS rifle, so uh, Australian Precision Rifle Systems rifle um, that we have done some modifying to but it's in 7mm rem mag um, and essentially I'll put a link on the video as to so you can see what the video is made out of, what the rifle is made out of. Um, it's the new Night Force um, F1 enhanced it's a second focal plane, but it's the enhanced um, 25, sorry, 5 to 25 by 56 um, Night Force Attacker scope. Um, we run the US Optics bubble level, a little swivel on the side here, so I have a bubble level to make sure that it all sits on, so I can make sure the can's staying all nice and straight. And I've modified the stock and actually run a TRG bipod on the front of the thing. Um, just the way I like to make the gun cycle got our own custom muzzle brake on the front of it uh, but essentially it's um, a standard chamber 7mm rem mag that works very nicely. What we've set up out there, the, um, the actual range at the target, I've actually ranged it on the video but I'll show you again right here, this is actually zeroed out there at target. We don't want that app, we want, that's the measuring tape app for iPhone and there's our range 3026 yards 3026 yards these apps measure as it says down here it's within five meters we normally find it's within sort of two meters when I range before it said 324 saying 300 and, sorry it said 3024 now it's saying 326 that's about the sort of accuracies we see uh, we've done a lot of verifying these apps with with GPS coordinates with um, Garmin products with essentially Google Earth that sort of stuff they're good they work as accurate as they say they work but um, that's what it is for all the people that ask. Um, and the last bits of the shot were essentially this this rifle set up on essentially a 40 MOA rail with a 20 MOA uni light um, it's the uni mount in the ultralight I should say night force you know 20 MOA so the combination of the two gives us 60 MOA 
um, and that's then got the scope sitting on it and yes with this sort of scope it's got 120 mil of internal adjustment at least um, and that gives us a zero at 100 yards um, and then I've actually got that actually only lets me shoot out to with no holdover I've forgotten exactly the mass but around the, the 2200 sorry 2300 2400 yards 2380 I think it is so I'm using holdover it's the reason I use the second focal plane scope I've actually zoomed back I'm actually running on the top here I'm back down to seven or just about seven and a half power um, and then I'm actually holding over so I'm using the bottom of the reticle um, where I've got a very small target aim at it's a bit trickier to aim at but it means it gives me I'm shooting approximately 190 minutes of elevation is what I'm using to pull this shot off, shot off. it's a 50 degree day um, as you can see I'm actually running what I end up running I ended up running 26 minutes of wind of, of, of 26 minutes left of windage to correct my wind that's pushing the bullet over to the right and you'll see that on the video that's um but anyway there's at least there's at least two on the plate there might be three we'll go down over target and we'll um we'll show you what we did well we're on target so that was our first hit this one here a second and then we're that was the third one up here so I think that's a hit. We'll have to double check and make sure it's not a ricochet or not a bounce. Um, decent little impressions on the back here. Still got some whack to it. Still bending the plate. Um, there was the that was the, the 195 grain burger bullet in the 7mm rem mag. Uh, if you turn around up there, Sam, to show everybody, I'll put a dot on there to show you exactly where we're shooting from. Um, and as you see, the wind's about the same. It's pretty good. It's um, you know really a target. We're in the the five to eight mile an hour. The shot really, the calculations at 26 minutes were really more in the, the 12 to sort of, between sort of 12 and 14 miles an hour of wind. Uh, but it was it was consistent. Even though it's wind, it was consistent. I was actually, a few changes in the wind, but I was actually able to get from a couple of points of, I think I hit high and left two times in a row holding exactly the same hold. Um, I then reset and, and hit, and that's our center hit on there. So really consistent. There was a couple of changes. We had a change after we actually hit. I had to get back on target, had a change in the conditions that we couldn't read. Uh, so it would have been the mid-range wind, but um, it worked really well. So 3,000 yards or 3,026 yards with a 7mm rem mag. Um, done. Anyway, well, um, thanks for checking us out, guys, and we'll, um, we'll catch you next time.